traditional firing technology of Longchuan Celadon. Longchuan is a historic and cultural city in Zhejiang province, well known for its celadon industry. There were five famous kilns in the Chinese history, namely Guan, Ge, Ru, Ding, and Juin, among which Ge referred to the celadon kiln in Longchuan. Longchuan kiln has the longest history, the widest distribution, the best quality, and the broadest production scale and export scope among all the celadon kilns in the Chinese ceramic history. Longchuan celadon industry, dating back to the Western Jin Dynasty, began to take shape in the Northern Song Dynasty, reached its prime in the middle and later periods of the Southern Song Dynasty, saw a reduction in quality during the Ming Dynasty, with the production scale as large as before, and finally met its decline in the Qing Dynasty. Since the founding of the People's Republic of China, the firing technology of Longchuan Celadon has gradually resumed. With iron as the main color agent, Longchuan porcelains are glazed in a blue-green color, and the top grade ones have a glaze as pure as jade. There are two types of Longchuan Celadon. One is Ge Kiln Celadon, and the other is Di Kiln Celadon. The Ge Kiln Celadon has a black body and a thick glaze full of crackle patterns formed by the so-called golden threads and iron wires, appearing purple along the rim and brown in the foot. The D Kiln Celadon is characterized by a white body, a thick glaze, and a smooth and crackle-free surface. Porcelains of the D Kiln are as green as jade, as bright as a mirror, and as thin as paper, giving out a chime-like sound when tapped and making it a pleasure to look at them. The plum green and lavender green glazes fired in D Kiln rank the highest in the vitreous enamel among all the celadon ware. Longchuan celadon enjoys a high reputation all over the world. It was already exported to countries such as the Philippines, Malaysia, and Japan in as early as the Northern Song Dynasty and saw an increase in the exportation in the middle of the Southern Song Dynasty. With the thriving trade in the Yuan Dynasty, Longchuan porcelain is one of the major commodities was sold in great quantities through such ports as Ningbo, Wenzhou, and Lishui to India, Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Vietnam, among dozens of other countries. In the Ming Dynasty, Longchuan Celadon was introduced to Europe, where it was widely favored and was sold at high prices. Over the years, Longchuan Celadon products made in ancient China have been found one after another in various places around the world and are now kept as treasures in a number of museums around the world. Longchuan Celadon is produced through eight major procedures, material preparing, molding, fettling, grooming, glazing and biscuit firing, sagaring, stacking in a kiln and firing, among which glazing and firing are the two most distinctive ones. To glaze an air-dried mold, there are several procedures to follow, including glazing by shaking, glazing by immersion, glazing by coating, and glazing by spraying. To create a thick glaze, 
one has to glaze the clay body several times. Each time after one layer of glaze is put on, the mold will be biscuit fired. This may be repeated for four or five times, or even up to 10 times before the actual firing process. The temperature for biscuit firing is relatively low, usually about 800 centigrade, while that for glaze firing is about 1,200 centigrade. In glaze firing, the temperature should be increased step by step and be controlled as required until the product is finally finished. Celadon firing is a technology as well as an art. Celadon of the best quality with its soft luster, rich flavor, and jade-like beauty carries a profound cultural connotation. In 2009, the traditional firing technology of Long Chuan Celadon was inscribed on the representative list of the Intangible Cultural Heritage of Humanity by UNESCO.